sure it's not my only question, but how many more? How many more bombs? How many more traumatized children are we creating? Like, how is it? I think he's not the greatest person to quote, but I think it was Stalin that said, a hundred thousand people could die. It's news. Like, but one person dies. It's like, it's shocking. How is it that one creates so much trauma? And like, people really think about it. But when you say a hundred thousand, it's it's just news. How is that humane? Like, we all have an expiration date. Let us get to it. Some people don't get to get to their expiration date. You know, we all have a sunrise and we all have a sunset. But when will we stop investing in wars and destruction? And when will we start investing in construction and rebuilding and trying to really create the society that we want to see? And some people might say that that's me thinking like a Westerner, still having hope. I have hope because historically speaking, we have to go through some really horrible turmoil to get to a very beautiful existence to whatever that may be to the person. But for me, there's nothing more beautiful than seeing an array of diversity and seeing all these people coming from different religions, different sexualities, different ethnicities coming together and just hanging out and talking like humans because it's, I'm naturally curious to know more of another human, but it's how I go about it. Am I asking you like, what are you? No, you know, I'm like, oh, you know, so how, like, what's what's your history? Like, what, where did you come from? But. Again, like, when will we hit the, the end point of stopping destruction, continuing these destructive ways? And we just need to really sit down and analyze and I think give a platform to the youth and the young ones, the six-year-olds, these five-year-olds that don't even have playgrounds because they were destroyed by bombs, who can't go to school, who who some kids, I've, I've heard kids like who are scared when the sun comes out because that's when the drones fly. But when there's clouds, they're at peace. And in other parts of the world, when the sun's out, it's happiness. It's like joy. When the clouds are out, it's like sad. So what's happy to us is now sadness to some innocent child like because they're so conditioned to waking up and this might be the last time I walk through my door or I may walk get home and my brother was caught or was in that hospital that was blown up or was in that school that was blown up like why <laughs> those are our own other brothers and sisters they're humans they bleed red just like us so when will the destruction end